what is up budgeting family and friends my name is sharia this is the sharia mag channel where i am documenting my six-figure debt-free journey as an entrepreneurial licensed clinical social worker with a virtual private practice also working part-time i am on this journey along with my husband who is a welder together we have a combined income of about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars annually we are a family of seven with three adult children one senior in high school and one fifth grader and we started with three hundred and five thousand eight hundred and eighty four thousand dollars worth of debt and our goal is to be out of this debt in three to five years and work optional millionaire status within 10 years or less we are documenting our journey here on youtube with monthly budgets weekly budgets debt updates and because i am an entrepreneur i also do my private practice income reports as well i also do transfer tuesdays that is something that i have recently incorporated and i also do debt update i'm not debt updates budget closeouts as well that sounds like something you would be inspired and informed about or if it's just a journey that you want to make sure to follow be sure to like the follow button or subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video. At this point, I am uploading every Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and occasional Friday to make sure that I am caught up on content, but definitely every Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I would hate for you to miss an update. Today's video is February monthly budget closeout and we will get right into it. All right, so this is my budget template. I did a video on my new template at the beginning of this year. I will link it in the card section here on the top of the screen if you want to check that out. The link to the Etsy store where I purchased this template is also listed down in the discussion box. This budget is for the it's the monthly budget for the month of February. So it started February the 1st and it went to February the 29th. So my husband is paid weekly. I am also paid weekly and then I work a part-time job where I am paid bi-weekly and then anytime we have any side hustle income I make sure to capture that as well. So for the income for the month of February it was planned at $9,650 and we actually earned $11,510.37. Week one, his planned income was at $800, and that is the base amount without any overtime, and he actually earned $1,122.24. Week two was $800, and he actually earned $1,002.12. Week three, again, $800, and he actually earned $782.51. And week four, again, planned at $800, and he earned $855.21. For me... Weeks one, two, three, and four was planned at $900. And weeks one, two, three, and four, I actually earned $936.67. For part-time paycheck one, we planned it at $1,000. And I actually got $1,148.20. And for week two, I mean, pay period, paycheck two, again, $1,000. And I actually earned $1,134.66. We have $850 in rental income and that's what we get. That mortgage is paid off. And then for the month of February, he had $500 in side hustle income and I had $368.75 in side hustle income. So that bought our monthly income to $11,510.37. We go over to savings and the planned savings for the month of February was $17.10 and we actually saved $1,103.67. Um, $350 was planned for the month of February. I'm almost certain that I did save $350. $75 from each part-time paycheck is automatically deposit it into my high yield savings account and then I save $50 every single week. For some reason, I guess I'm just not documenting or logging those transactions because they are also automatic. And for whatever reason, for the month of February, I did not uh, document those or log those transactions, but I am contributing to my savings every single week. 
Um, so that is probably part of the discrepancy. $200 is put into my husband's high yield savings account. And every now and again, when he has some overtime, I will allow him to do like $75 or $60 or whatever. So he did put $225 into his savings account. Um, $20 per month goes towards my M1 finance account. I do plan to increase that over the years. $175 went towards our Christmas account when we should have put $200. So I wonder what happened there. Uh, $40 goes into my son's um, account and we ended up putting $50.32. $200 uh, is planned to go into my daughter's college account and we actually ended up putting $163.35. And part of that is because I do take you know, some of the money and pay off any transactions that she has charged um, for gas or eating out. Things that she should not be charging on the car but does anyway. And then $300 is supposed to go towards savings for the 808 for our investment property, but we did put $320 towards that savings account, which bought our actual savings for the month of February to $1,103.67. We go over to bills for the month of February, and the bills for this month are... 2000 or planned at $2,259.62. We um, put so our Wells Fargo home mortgage, which is our primary residence, the mortgage is $1,080 and we actually put $1,375.61. We do pay that on a weekly basis, and so I'm assuming that that is how it added up to be $1,300 um, towards the mortgage. Farm Bureau is $133.26. Apple Storage is $9.99. And for the month of February, it was charged to the Apple Card, but I have since changed that. Um, Cricut Wireless is $58, and I'm not sure why that wasn't on the budget, but it did come out. Music and Arts is my son's instrument, and that is $41.63, and the actual amount did match. Planet Fitness is $25.05, and the actual amount did match. Foremost is our investment property uh, house insurance at $97.78, and the actual amount did match that. Wilson Electric is $330, and that is what we paid. Netflix is $16.54, and that is what we paid. And we did switch our insurance from Geico at $525.37 to Erie, which is at $393, and that is what we paid. But that did not start until the month of March. So we actually didn't pay anything on the insurance. Um, so that bought our actual bills for the month to $2,077.87. We transition over to expenses and the expenses were planned at this month for $2,300 and that was $500 in groceries and we actually spent $337.72. Gas was budgeted at, or planned at $480 and we actually spent $629.11 and my husband driving the truck is really busting our budget um, and we are working on trying to find a res an affordable resolution for that. Beauty maintenance was budgeted at $50 and I only spent $25 getting my face waxed. Boy's hair was budgeted at $100 and it should be $50 because my son, my oldest son, no longer gets his hair done. And we did spend $50 to get my son's hair done. Toiletries, we budgeted at $200 and we only spent $53.52. Household, we budgeted at $200 and we only spent $144.96. Fast food, we budgeted at $200 and we overspent at $282.80. Date night, we budgeted zero and we did not spend anything. We still are not giving ourselves spending money and we did not spend anything. Miscellaneous was budgeted at $320 and we spent $264.85. And tithe was budgeted at $250 and we spent $243.28. So I don't know how much we actually spent on Valentine's Day or on my son's birthday because my husband paid that out of his own checking account. So that bought our actual um, expenses for the month to $2,031.24. 
So we go over to debt. Debt for the month of February was planned at $2,723.32. And that was, um, so we have several credit cards. Most of the credit cards do not have a balance and those balance free credit cards are snowballed into whatever target card we were working on for the month of february it was the carnival barclays card so we had plans to spend the 50 the 43 dollar minimum payment but we actually put two thousand two hundred and sixty two dollars and fourteen cents and we paid that card down to zero the platinum american express had a zero balance well had a dollar 98 cent balance and that was paid um, the Hilton American Express, which is my card, had a plan payment of $90.56. Again, my, those are, that is the card that my kids are authorized users on. And we put one, we paid $126.15 on that card. Um, my PayPal card has a balance of $9.35 or whatever, but the minimum payment is $35. We are paying the interest accruing or the special finance payments for each month so that we do not accrue interest. And for the month of February, that totaled two fifty one seventeen. I paid two thirty five forty, but I did fully cover the interest accruing transactions. My husband had to pay two oh five for the month of February, and he did in fact pay two oh five um, to cover his special financing. Uh, the city card has a minimum balance, I mean a minimum payment of $49.41 for the month of February. And we, because we, this is the next target card, we put $518.45 for the month of February on that card. Um, Delta Amex has a zero balance and so that payment is snowballed into the target card that we are working on. Honda Financial, the payment is $1,078.80 and for the month of February I paid $1,604.00. And 66 cent for the HELOC it is at 288 and we paid 288 and then my student loans have one um, lump sum payment but because when I target them I will be targeting them by the loan I still break them down by the loan so for the month of February again two thousand seven hundred and twenty three dollars and thirty two cents was planned to go towards debt but for the month of February, we were able to put $5,436.16 towards debt. We go over to the budgeted versus the actual. And um, the planned rollover was zero. The actual rollover was $8,083.13. And I don't think that that is accurate. The income was planned at $9,650 and the actual was $11,510.37. The income saved was planned at $1,710 and we actually saved more than $1,103.67. The income spent, which is the combination of bills and expenses, was planned at $3,186.47 and we actually spent $4,109.11. The debt paid was $2,723.32 and we actually put $5,436.16 towards debt. We should have had a planned leftover balance of $2,030.21 and it says we have an actual leftover balance of $8,944.56. Again, I do not think that that is accurate. We go up to the breakdown of our income for the month. And again, I like to see that our savings rate is at 10.4%. Um, bills for the month was 19.5% of our income. Expenses for the month was 19.1% of our income. And then debt was 51% of our income for the month of February. Um, the reflections for this month, I will say... Um, I am glad that one, we did not start off in the, no, no, I take that back. We did have some overdrawn, we had an overdrawn week for the month of February. Um, but I think decreasing the auto insurance from the $520 to 
$400 I think has definitely helped and also not having to pay that child support weekly is also going to help we will be we have decided to roll over that hundred dollars into our debt payments so that is increasing our debt snowball which I will discuss more in depth um, in the debt update I think continuing to log my transactions um, daily has been helpful in being much more aware of our spending the downside or still trying to although our income is combined we're still not having weekly or routine meetings about our income again i think i shared in a previous video that my husband will ask at the most random times when the budget is not on my mind um like what do we have to pay this week or what's in the budget for this week and because the budget is not in front of me um, a lot of times I'm not able to recall and I really need to find a way to capitalize on that moment so that when he's asking, we can have a good conversation about it. I try to review the budget at night when the computer is in front of me because I do take my computer to bed, which is also a habit I want to stop. Um, but he is decompressing from work and he's just not interested in the numbers. So... That is something that I definitely want to improve. So those are the reflections for February's month budget. I'm still pretty happy that we were able to get all of our bills paid and still put such a high amount towards debt for the month of February. And, you know, if I keep that up, if we do $5,000 every single month, that's $60,000 going towards debt. Now, of course, there will be some interest that eats that up. Um, but $60,000 in a year is pretty good. So, um, excited to see if we're able to keep that up for the remainder of the year. Um, but as far as quarters for at the end of March 15, having put $15,000 towards debt is going to be uh, great, especially since my goal for the year is, I think it was $30,000. So, I like to see that. Um, and I just, I anticipate it continuing to increase. I'm getting closer and closer to my watch hours on YouTube. So if you clean up on a Saturday or a Sunday, turn my playlist on and just let it play to support my channel. I would really appreciate that. The income that I do earn once I am monetized will also go towards my debt-free journey or investing. But I really think tackling the especially the higher interest debt is going to be my priority. So that is it for February um, monthly budget closeout. Um, I'm excited to see like I'm happy to see the numbers. Um, happy to see the patterns and see where we can make improvements. And that is it. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to follow my journey towards debt freedom and then to wealth and fire or work optional um if you would like to support my channel there is a buy me a coffee link that is down in the discussion box um any type of donations that are made will go directly towards my debt and will be recorded and recognized in a transfer tuesday video um you can always support my channel by giving me a like or a share, or a repost, or a shout out, or simply subscribing. So if you have not, again, subscribed, already subscribed, please consider subscribing to follow my six-figure debt-free journey from six-figure debt to millionaire status and work optional or retire early. The goal is by 50. And I really appreciate it. If you have watched to the end, I really appreciate it. Bye for now.